Hi everybody, my name is Jessica and this is my channel Plant Hooker. Now I have a planting product to discuss today. Uh, the company, Eri Lolan, had approached me, they emailed me and asked me if I wanted to try a product of theirs. And I said, sure, absolutely. So they sent me this product, uh, no charge to me, uh, no charge in the shipping, and in exchange for a free, the free product, I'm to give you my honest opinion on it. I do know what it is, like they sent me some rock wool to test. Now, I didn't know rock wool existed for plants until October when I was discussing it with them. I just thought it was always a type of insulation. Yes, Gwen, I see you. But, and a friend of mine had said that it's great for cloning, it's great for propagation, so we're going to test it. So it comes in a box, like you can order it from uh, Amazon, Walmart, uh, and I think Wish, possibly. Mine specifically comes from Amazon. It's got, it seems to be a more popular place for this. open without breaking oh. oh wow oh activate warranty claim a gift oh. is this a card? oh yes it is look there's two cards no no Gwen don't do that please visit getpart.net or scan QR code to activate warranty and claim a gift Oh! This product comes with a one year warranty. I did not know that. Oh, this is cool. I'll have to figure out how to work my QR code on my phone. I still haven't been able to figure that one out, but I will. But I better not. Yeah, no, I can't. I don't think I'll show it just in case, but the cards do look like this. But I'll, but see if I can get this out. Neat. Now look, comes in these little cubes. Uh, but now, what rock wool is, from what I've been able to gather, it's a, it's made from uh, limestone, and it's an inorganic material that you can propagate and grow seedlings in. Uh, this is neat. I do know that I need to soak this for 24 hours before I can use it, but what I can do is, is I'll get the, all those products that I need and then I'll show on camera how to do that part. So I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with my water. I'm gonna have to point my camera down so then you can get an idea. Can I go down lower? Yes. Okay. So it'll be headless for a little bit. So sorry. So I just went and grabbed some of my. It's this water is a mixture of filtered and rainwater that I save for my plants because, according to the instructions online. This has a, P, a high pH because of the lime, so you, if you want to reduce the pH, you need to have like lower pH water. So, and I forget if these break apart or if I need to cut them. I think I need to cut them. I forgot my scissors. <laughs> ah, one one second. Okay. Sorry. I'm very disorganized. I was just really excited about testing out a product. Because I've never been given something. So it, it's exciting and very appreciative of the company. Recycle this for later. 
yeah, it feels like, it really does feel like wool, but it's not wool. Maybe I can break it. Mm, maybe not. It doesn't sound like it's meant to be broken. Cut it off. Hello, Celine. Don't drink that. There's no fertilizer in it. Like, I don't think it'll hurt her, but we still don't want her drinking it. Yeah, it's a box and paper. Yeah. Does it smell funny? <laughs> yeah. So you can cut up the little cubes so then that way they're in a way you want them to be. And you gotta soak them in this water for 24 hours before you can use them. No, 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 don't lick that please. Just gonna do this. Now, my son has agreed to edit this for me. Oh, maybe this one will. Oh, there we go. This one just ripped apart. Maybe I can rip them apart. Yeah, so let's just bring them in here, like so. So if I can rip that, maybe I can... Oh no, no. The in, It looks like the individual squares, you can. But when you try to rip it off a big piece, it looks like it might come off in chunks. Or you could just do it like this one square at a time. It probably doesn't matter how they go in the water. I'm just a little fussy and I kind of want it all to be in pretty. Oh. So I think what I might do, or I might ask my oldest to do, is to uh, sp speed up this part here so then that way we get to more info. <laughs> what is this, Selene? For a cat that was very feral, she's very curious. When it comes to me doing like little crafts or projects. Hungry Bikini? This is fun. Yeah, because according to the uh, instructions on the internet, the pH level to these uh, cubes before soaking them is an 8. And this filtered water is a uh, I think might be between a four and a six. I'm going to try doing it this way just to see if I can speed up the process. I already have an idea on what plants to do. 
since I've done, I might do one of the verticillatas since you guys have seen me propagate those before. And I might do, hey, hey, what are you doing? I might do, my oh, spider plants I might just do this very quickly and then I'll fix it afterwards <laughs> what am I doing Celine no 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 don't touch It's not a toy. Well, I have lots of cat toys, so she doesn't seem to be too interested in them. Into the middle part. like that. So we're going to put them like so, organize them so they are neat. These ones on the other side, these ones, that's one's on the side, that's on the side, side. This one is on its side. This one on its side. This one's upside down. This one's upside down. They all right? Yes, they're all righted now. Okay, so these have to soak for 24 hours. And then, once they're done soaking for the 24 hours, I'll come back and I'll show you what I do with them. Okay, be right back. Well, 20, 24 hours right back. Hi, I know I said I'd be back in 24 hours, but it's technically been, no, don't eat that, uh, technically been 43, because yesterday my kids ended up being released from school early due to high winds. And, don't eat these. And I couldn't film with them home because it wasn't the 24 hours before they got home. So technically the rock wool has sat now for about 43 hours. So, alright. So now we're going to work on them. I did get a propagation of the verticillata just to show the difference between, because you've seen my previous video of them being done propagating in like dirt, water, and perlite, and now you get to see the results for a rock wool. And I also got a bunch of spider plant cuttings, because these are super easy to root, takes no time at all, and it, this way I can get the quickest results to show you. So, I'm gonna point the camera down now. Whee. To show you the whole process. Now, as you can see, they've soaked up a lot of the water really well. Now, one thing is, do not squeeze them because you want them to retain this moisture. And if you squeeze them, then they're not going to be at their full potential. So, now they have these little holes 
drilled in the top and that's where you put your propagation. So I'm just going to start with the verisalata first before we move on to the spider plant cuttings. Yeah, and we just stick them in here like this. So I wonder if I can like maybe just squeeze a little bit around the top to make sure he stays in. But yeah, just like that. Place him here. And we're gonna move on to the next one. We'll see how many cats decide to join us and interrupt. Because I know, because since I have spider plants, they're gonna be super duper interested in wanting to be here for them. I probably should be squeezing it over the, because I kind of have to squeeze it in just a tiny bit. No, don't eat that, Celine. Okay, that's one there. No, 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 no. That's another one. Okay, here, look, here, take this. No, it's not big enough for you. <laughs> it's not big enough. Maybe the spider plants won't work because they're not small enough. Oh, what? No, no. Just have to kind of squish them in a little bit and it'll work. Then it'll be trying to find a place for these that the cats can't get to. Celine is extra interested because she was feral at one point in time in her life. And she's never. I don't think I need these little leaves here. Here, here, get those. <gasps> no, Celine. Now, with spider plants, it usually in for water propagations, it usually takes about a week. like that. <laughs> Stop eating them, Celine. No! 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 Look, there's, you guys have your own spider plant over there. I guess young spider plants taste better than older spider plants. Because I had specifically grown one into a large plant just for them to chew on in between the cat grass while they're waiting for the next batch to grow. I don't mean to be squeezing these. I know it says not to squeeze, but it's hard to get the spider plants in them. Well, these are most, I think their main goal is seeds and seedlings, but you can like use these for cloning, root cuttings, but I guess it all depends. Oh, this one's full of my hair. The size of them too. Like some of these, these smaller ones will probably go in no problem. Like see, or maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's why, because the roots there. I was putting it in wrong. But yeah, see, it went in perfectly. So yeah, so some of these spire cuttings, I probably let it, let it go too long before propagating them. And that's mostly because at this time of year, I've got like, I don't run into anybody to really get them to. Some of them are like spreading out like this. They're not pointing up and pretty like this. They're they're like they're like this, 
because this is how it would be. The roots are down. I think it's because because technically it should be like this, but the way the roots are, it's like this. I don't need these things. So what I might do is after, no, no, after I take these all out of here and get them planted up, I'll dump out the water and then put the cuttings back in here and then that way I can cover up the box. I'll put them in a nice sunny spot so the cats don't eat them. And then in a week, like I'll finish the video off and I'll post this part here and then in a week I'll give you an update on everything. And the reason why a week is because it doesn't take long for spiderettes to get going. This doesn't need to be here. Yeah, I've got, is it, did I do that one yet? I've got one Hawaiian spider plant cutting, here it is. Because I accidentally broke him off while I was cutting off these guys. And because I wanted to leave him go longer so that I could up when I up pot the Hawaiian spider plant, I could put him in the same pot. Oh, I guess not. Here. Eat this. There you go. <laughs> Leave my plants alone. You're funny. Ooh. I guess I shouldn't have done it that way. very well. This one should go in as well. Yeah, look at this. Not a problem. Okay. Gwen, don't move the camera, please. What are you doing, Celine? No, you can't eat this. Here. There, take it, go away. Let's try and get like the wonky ones in. Without them getting eaten. I can straighten them up afterwards because I know when I put them in dirt I can. So it should be the same for the rock hole. They're just going to be difficult in the beginning before I pop them up. Okay, Gwen, stop. This one almost looks like it's a couple in one, like, a, like Siamese twins. See? It almost looks like it's Siamese twins. Now, Selene, I'm never going to be able to give away these plants if you keep... Oops. Yeah, no, you are going to be different. Are getting you in. I think maybe spider plants weren't the best thought for the cutes, but they were the best thought for like quickest propagation. Like I'm giving you little pieces. And you're bugging me. Me, you're bugging me. This one I accidentally broke in half. So maybe if I like shoot 
I'm squeezing them and I don't like to squeeze them. That might still work, it just might be easier getting it in. And I'm not worried if I'm like putting it on top of leaves, they'll be fine. It's spider plants. I only know of maybe two people, two people that can kill spider plants. Uh, one of them is a co-worker of mine, <laughs> and the other one is my mother. Yeah. My, I sent my mom a spider plant once for Mother's Day, and she killed it. Yeah. And some more things to, to root up. Well, I might actually go get a couple more uh, pe pepperoni versalata so then that way it's not just one. It's a couple and I can put that in a pot and give it to somebody as a present. This is the most you've ever been on film since I introduced you, Simon. She was being camera shy. Actually, the most camera shy of them all is Salute. I think you've only seen her once. And that was just a fluke. And she was not happy when I picked her up. Like, look, introduce you. Yeah. Don't eat them. Don't you eat them. Yeah, for the spiderettes that are like really straight, they go in perfectly. I like the ones that have like the bent bottom. Where are you? Like this guy, it's, it's quite hard to get them in and have them stay in. So if you can, so if you want to prop your spiderettes with Rockwell, I would suggest doing it as soon as you see them start to bend, so then that way it fits in perfectly. <sighs> Celine, stop eating my plant. You're not helping. I don't know if you think you're helping, but you're not. Thank you. 
this part here. I don't need that. Here, eat this. There you go. That's right. No, no. Don't put it in the dish here. There. Oh, it's not attached anymore. It's no more fun. You're very curious this morning. Why? I've never seen you so curious. No? <laughs> Selene's a good girl. She's a very good girl. As long as the litter box is cleaned every day, and if I can't clean it every day, I have to add fresh litter to it, she behaves. So I think her issue was she's just a very clean cat. She doesn't like having a dirty litter box. And since I figured that out, thanks to a security camera and just trial and error, we've had no issues with the girl. There we go. You're not supposed to squeeze them, but I have a hard time. Okay, I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, I don't have enough room. Yeah, I'm going to go get some more Versalata. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I got more Versaladas and I also got a couple of my goldfish plant because they're fairly easy to propagate as well. Not as easy as the spider plant. But we shall see. Put them in just like so. That's what I need to remove the bottom leaves. here and Selena and them can chew on them. What do you think, Gwen? Hmm? <laughs> Did you just bring me this? Do you want this? This is what a Kinder Surprise egg toy from Raymond. Go get it. She fetches. It, I don't. We didn't teach her that. She just naturally knows it somehow. Hello, Selena. Back to make a pest of yourself. What you thinking, Kimpy Kitty? I'm running out of space quickly. I might have to go dump my water so I can put them back in here and have space. But you also don't have to like throw them all in the water like I did. Like you can like cut the block in half and only use half. I was just excited because I wanted to test out this new product and was like, wee, and not even thinking. Okay, and I want 
do a fish plant. goldfish plant and with Christmas coming up like I have a few people that more than likely give these to And voila, that's our propagation. So these ones here, I'm just gonna take them out, let them dry out and reuse them when the time comes for it. And then I'll just take these guys, put them back in here, find a warm sunny spot and I'll be back in a week. Like the, the spider plants should be ready in a week the versalatus it usually takes them three and the goldfish i think it takes them three to four weeks so so we'll see how that goes so i will be back so if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give me a thumbs down like tell me what i did wrong because this is my first time using rockle uh, but if you really like the video, subscribe. And, oh yes, and I will put a link in the bio on where to get this from, especially from Erilo, or Erilo. Eh. Sorry, Erilolin. So then that way you can get them directly from the company on Amazon, because they've been really good to me. Like I have no, I have no nothing wrong like this I think this is a fantastic product personally so uh, but if you really like the video subscribe and I will give you an update in a week so live long plant on <laughs>